r slash ask reddit what small thing takes your anger from 0 to 60 in one second flat being accused of lying i don't believe you i've had all five of my housemates in college form an intervention and accuse me of stealing their food called me a liar thief and sociopath and demanded i pay them back for their lost and for a hidden camera really food like groceries no matter how much i defended myself they just rolled their eyes and demanded i admit to what i did basically made hella passive aggressive comments at me in a three hour meeting in the end the real thief beach didn't fess up and we never knew who actually did it. But I sure as hell know it wasn't me. I still get triggered thinking back on this. People harassing minimum wage workers over trivial bullshit. Do you know how ready I was to throw hands at some beach who didn't leave a tip on a $40 order today? But she said we snuffed her on pecans I should have gotten a pecan in every bite beach who ate and all. Star breakfast with 2 sandwiches 3 sides 2 waffles and it was made in 7 minutes and you demolished the 4000 calories in 10 and you have the nerve waddle your fat ass up to that counter and tell my server he didn't deserve a tip for mother. Ducking pecans. I hope you remember that the only the keeping me from swinging on your fat ass my livelihood and you keep eating that way I won't have to worry one bit. As European it sounds so funny to me. Being angry on someone for not leaving a tip. I understand that in American culture the tips are basically your wage. But it's baffling that you live in the system that it's the customer's fault you don't have money to live rather than employers. XD. People blocking grocery aisles with zero spatial awareness. Bumper car that shit. Oh. Sorry. I didn't see you there. Psych. I totally saw you there. Edit. The cart. Not the person. Unless you like assault charges. I have absolutely zero problem saying excuse me loudly and just walk right the duck through them. Being talked over slash constantly interrupted. Dude. Especially when you start to talk to respond to what they just said. And they get louder to add on another thought. Makes me mentally exit the convo immediately. Also, when they ask you a question and then just keep talking as soon as you open your mouth. Like, do you want the answer or not? Someone trying to be condescending to you because they couldn't comprehend what you were saying. Tech people are the actual worst. The amount of times I have contacted tech teams with a full QA description to let them know there's a bug in their app and just received an as it says on our help page. No shit Sherlock. I read your goddamn help page and you have an edge case bug. I am not complaining. I am trying to be nice. Also, if you have boobs you definitely shouldn't walk into a tech store looking for anything because obviously you just don't know what you're looking for. Out of interest for this. And I'm definitely not trying to be condescending or anything. Are you contacting the dev team directly in these situations or the technical support team? Because more often than not, those guys are just first line and the only line they're fed for anything that isn't a password reset is tell the customer to go through the contact form alternate means of contacts direct them to the help page and they generally aren't paid. Enough to give more of a shit than that. <laughs> Someone cutting me off the road in a way that could have caused an accident. When people say I didn't say that when you repeat something they just said. When people insist that I'm mad when I'm really not. I wasn't mad but now I am. I'm not duck I'm angry. Shut the duck up. You know what? That's the problem with your generation you have no dedication towards your jobs this coming from a co-worker who spends the first 2 hours and the last hour of every single shift on a personal phone call. I really like my current job and company but it really sucks knowing I'll have to switch to a different company in a year or two to get any decent pay raise. I don't even know how this trend came to be. When you give your letter of resignation say you like your current job and doing it for the money only. If they give a shit they will ask you how much the new job gives you. Tell them 5k more than you accepted and start bargaining from there. Good luck in advance. Slow internet applications freezing. Yes. I have serious load rage. That's a great term for it. Dropping ruining my food as I am getting ready to eat it. Holy shit I dropped a bowl of spinach on the floor the other day right before I was going to eat it. I was furious and ready to cry at the same time. Well, I guess I'm eating off the floor tonight. Being forced into a team building exercise at my job or at college. I will hate you forever if you force me to do that. We had team building day at a previous job. I didn't just skip it. 
I walked through the crowd wearing my bike gear and then rode by everyone as I left the premises. Mandatory fun is neither. Mandatory fun is neither now there's a bumper sticker. People not cleaning up their own goddamn mess. You're gonna love toddlers. People applying rules to others that they don't follow themselves. Even for the smallest things. Also just criticizing people over trivial things with zero awareness of how much of their shit others are putting up with. Hypocrites can be really frustrating. When I knock something over or something falls over, then I proceed to quickly pick it up and place it where it was, only for it to fall over again. Instant rage. Why not IT stay up? Like what duckying angle do you want? Thing? Then there's the third time it falls, where you're ready to rip it apart and chuck it into the fiery pits of hell just to spite it. Watching people litter, and people not using turn signals, just obliviously and selfishly not caring about others. This, and people throwing cigarettes out the window. Ignorant people that don't want to listen to any point of view but their own. I think Chris Rock once said, a moron is someone who makes up their mind before listening to both sides. Because of that I always try enter conversations open minded and see both sides. OMG yes. Or they want to debate their point of view with you. Which is totally pointless because you aren't going to change their mind in the slightest. People wearing masks and not covering their nose. If you can't wear a mask you're openly admitting furries are stronger than you. I don't understand what is so hard about wearing them in public. People saying as after they win a game. This is annoying for me when it clearly wasn't easy for them. It was a close game. They're entirely wrong. But you can't argue back because the kind of people that say as wouldn't listen. I've found that if try pointing out that they barely won they'll say something along the lines of I wasn't even trying. Unexpectedly hitting my head while standing up. It's got to really hurt though or I won't care much. But when it hurts it really hurts. It's the unexpectedness that makes it 100x worse. Hitting my elbow on something. Why the duck was it there? Your elbow with the thing you hit your elbow on? Yes. People that treat their children or animals too aggressively. Mistreatment of either spikes my blood pressure and I want to destroy. People honking when they're stuck at a red light. What do they think the honking would do? Make the traffic light magically change to green? I only honk when it turned green 2 minutes ago and we're still sitting here waiting for you to look up from your phone and move. A month ago I had a lady start furiously honking at me demanding I turn right on red. There were multiple no right on red signs. I rolled my window down and kept pointing at the signs and she kept raising her hands in confusion. I was raging so hard at her absolute lack of perception. If I can hear you chewing your food, I am plotting your violent death. Depends on the food. If it's like crunchy nachos you can't really eat that silently but if I hear your ass eating applesauce I'm leaving. I'm talking mouth agape and just smacking away and not even trying to control it. That first crunch I'll give you. After that it's homicide. My headphones getting caught on something and being ripped out of my head. Hem hem when certain irresponsible students just won't shut up about the return of a certain dark wizard. Username checks out. That's just preposterous. A certain dark wizard hasn't returned. And if he had, the Ministry of Magic would certainly have it under control. People abusing kids. Especially people in trusted positions like parents, caretaker, teacher, etc. I wouldn't call that a small thing though. Gathering all of my shit in the car to bring it into the house. Me too. I wouldn't have thought of this in my own but reading it. Yes it makes me pissed off to try to gather it all and items slipping out and purse banging against my hip and head hitting wall and door closing back on my leg or... When I ask someone to repeat themselves and they just say, never mind. For duck's sake I asked you to repeat yourself one time. It's not hard. Yes. Or when you legitimately can't hear someone and they get all annoyed and repeat it back to you again really slowly and at the exact same volume like you're an idiot who can't comprehend anything. When others volunteer me for something, I'll almost always say yes, but without a heads up I'm totally steamed. My stage crew has a rule, you volunteer someone else, that means you just volunteered yourself. Trying to have a conversation and get my point across, but the person thinks I'm arguing and will cut me off, 
talk over me, yell, accuse and abuse, like grow the duck up and handle the conversation like an adult, not a 3 year old. Calling customer service and having to listen to an automated phone tree with 8 choices none of which address the reason I'm calling before I can finally talk to a human being, or, having to wait on hold for 5-10 minutes no matter what time of day I call due to unusually high call volume, every, single, time. Just admit you're too cheap to hire enough agents to adequately serve your customers FFS. 5-10 minutes? Bruh. The last time I had to make a call to the unemployment office I had to spend 3, 5 hours in queue, and 2 seconds after getting connected the call dropped. Being forced to do stuff just because. Someone disrespecting my friends. Unearned disrespectfulness pisses me off. Yep, but I also hate when someone demands too much respect that they haven't earned. People. People equating mental illness with having a bad day. Now everybody has to whine and ask for special treatment when they have a bad day. Tough it out. Or when people dehumanize people with mental illness. Had someone say why should I take your advice your suicidal shit pissed me off so much that they lucked out that I just stopped talking to them. People I photograph film that have suggestions right as I'm about to shoot film. I do interviews for TV. And most people just do what I say. If I want you to stand somewhere, they just listen. I try to get the lighting right. And then the framing. Then the background. Then the focus. And because I work alone, I can't rejig the camera while I'm filming. So when they're like, okay, so why don't we film here? And then move. Or is the camera too close? and then move back, or why are you in my house, and then call the cops, it's really irritating. Whenever I see active disinformation campaigned online I get really mad about it, the truth is something sacred and important and they are the antithesis of all that is good in this world. People who share this garbage make the world a worse place every time they open their mouths. Someone insulting or harassing the people and responsible for. Someone who doesn't know me and has never seen my work telling me that I'm doing a bad job. Someone putting someone else into danger. Being behind someone and the light turns green but they are not paying attention. Or the old fart that's waiting for a nice one stroke 2 mile off space before he turns left right as the green arrow turns yellow. Slow cars in the passing lane. People trying to tell me how to do my job. Littering. Those people who use the lane that's obviously going to end in a matter of meters as an excuse to get two cars ahead, and try to bully their way in. Duck you. Anti-vaxxers. I have an uncle who contracted polio the year before the vaccine came out. My mother suffers from bouts of shingles every few years because there was no chicken pox vaccine when she was young. I just can't imagine letting these things happen to people you love now that they're totally preventable. A loud sudden noise. Toxic gamers. Someone poking a finger in my belly and saying that I'm fat. Littering the king littering sucks. You give people minimum wage. Expect minimum work. Don't go on pushing them hard when you're giving them nothing but minimum wage. Willful ignorance. Flat earthers and moon landing deniers. You provide them a plethora of proof. They say that the bible says the earth is clear. WTF. Calm down. Being blinded by LED headlights. People who say so what you're saying is extreme point that's not at all what I am saying for example I think it's their body and if they don't want to have a baby they should be allowed to have an abortion so you're saying you think it's completely acceptable to murder babies? Guy is telling me to smile. When I have to redo an assignment because it didn't save or my dumbass forgot to save it. Pose justifying the exploitation of children. People who can't admit when they're wrong. Telling me I can't do something. My Apple TV remote. That thing is ducking invisible when it wants to be. People saying the positions of planets in the sky influence their lives. Loud chewing. When you can't skip on Pandora. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.